as I said, in the early 1600s, this was one of the busiest ports in the country after Edinburgh, Glasgow, Dundee and Aberdeen, if I remember right. And it was all down to a guy called George Bruce. Now, George Bruce used to own palace which is just over there now, it's not actually a palace it's a really gorgeous beautiful house which was pretty much fit for a king and he built this place up to become an absolute success it's geese flying south although they just went that direction i think they might be lost how did the geese get lost i don't know he made it in, he made it into the success that it was back in the early 1600s partly down to what was underneath the water that we have here now this is the firth of fourth it's an incredibly busy estuary uh, but what we have underneath it is a huge amount of coal. This is the coal vein of central Edm of central Scotland, uh, and he was able to access that. Now it was the world's first underwater coal mine. Stop eating seaweed. <laughs> building here. This is all Curis Palace. This is not actually a real palace, it was a private home to a guy called Sir George Bruce. cobbles around the Curis and that's because it's a really old place but the cobbles itself are really important in terms of social status you've got as you can probably see here cobbles which are nice and flat cobbles which are a bit rougher and then you've got the gutter off in the end have you ever heard, heard the saying living your life in the gutter that's because you were poor and you were forced to walk in the gutter so if you were a salt man producing salt for whoever you would probably be spending your entire life walking in the gutter itself. If you were a fairly wealthy person, you could walk in the middle quite happily until a richer person came by and you had to move out to the side, into the gutter, and go, please, sir, go past. The rich and powerful and the wealthy didn't have to get themselves into the dirt and the mess and the putrid stench that is the gutter. So yeah, if you ever hear that saying again, living your life in the gutter, then that's where it comes from. Oi, here! So you see that little square there, another wee square there. That's where they used to imprison witches. <laughs> <laughs> 